Hi guys, I uh, haven't done this in a while, but hey, I've got a few requests to do it, so why not? Eh? Um, it's in, uh, I guess, gosh, when was the last time I even did this? I don't know. Anyway, here in the house, um, I've got a bit of a chore to do. I need to actually uh, clean up this room a bit. It's, uh, I guess we're, we call it the office, so... Yeah, here's the look of it. Oh, yeah, nice big old mess as you can see. And uh, it's going to take some time to do it. I'm going to attempt a time lapse video, I suppose, of doing a bit of work on it. We'll see how that turns out. Alright, I hope this ends up being a good angle. I mean,. You know, it's kind of a small room and I don't have a wide angle lens for my camera there. Okay, so that was about a half an hour's worth of work, and uh, I think it's a good improvement. You know, project's not done, but uh, I'm going to move on to doing some other stuff. Plants to water, things like that, you know. Yeah, I just noticed that my bamboo plant here has uh, some come to fluorosis out of my own laziness. Been using tap water rather than, rather than distilled water to water it. So I gave it a good rinsing off, and... Uh, replaced its water uh, you know I had been having it face in the other direction so that it would turn around and I guess if you notice I had that window covered up with a blanket and so you know, I don't know what I was thinking keep out the light but then I forgot about these plants here the other bit of it is actually doing okay it's doing real well there it's getting its own little kinda shaft going and all and uh... yeah but uh, what I was about to say is I have, uh, if you notice, there were just a bunch of papers all on the floor, which had been uh, kind of working as a, you know, to-be-filed pile. And uh, I had that because I didn't really have a filing cabinet. I just had those crates that I was using. And uh, they were, you know, they were not working out too well. They were filling up and very difficult to work with. But... A little while ago, I actually got this uh, filing cabinet. So, um, here's a look at the filing cabinet. It's a nice little four drawer hanging file. Let's get a look inside here. Oh, yeah, files. Uh, and here's the crates that I was using now. And actually, that whole pile of stuff is now that you know to be filed it's not it's not just papers to be filed it's things that I know need to go somewhere not here you know a <laughs> um, little bit different than an inbox I'd say I still got the kind of my desk and uh, things to sort through mail and such unimportant mail though so um, that's nice anyway now I need to make some more water since I kinda went through a whole lot of it on that uh, that bamboo plant there. I think it'll be fine. Have a look at the kittens. Indiana. I guess Miser's just out cold. Anyway, I think my bamboo plant will be fine. It just needs to get a bit more of the water that it likes. Um, I've actually got my still set up in the corner over here now. Oh, I need to <laughs> need to get the the bucket that the water goes into so that I don't just... Good thing I did that, huh? It started up without anything for it to drip in. Anyway, I found that actually 
it works out a lot better if I only do half a gallon at a time. Because, yeah, basic, you know, a basic principle of distillation is, um, you know, as you're warming something up, as it approaches its boiling point, the purer stuff of what you're trying to still is going to come out first. And so, if by only doing a half a gallon, that means that it's only going to be, like, this is in no way actually true, but for the purpose of illustration, it's only going to put out the, you know, the 50%, the top, you know, the top 50% of purity of water coming out there. Basically, the water tastes better <laughs> if you only still it a half gallon at a time and leave. It, it's, I guess... It is relatively wasteful because I just pitched the other half of the gallon because then that's, you know, double concentrated crap from the city water, <laughs> you know. suppose I ought to grab these things here, uh, these well-placed towels under the windowsills there because um, it rained last night and... Yeah, Miser, you're up? Oh, kitty. Yeah. What do you even want? Just rub up on my leg? But, uh, yeah, our, we got two window sills in the living room. I guess it's not the sills, it's the window itself. Um, two windows in the living room and two windows here in the kitchen that actually... Oh man, this one's really wet. <laughs> that actually... I, I could like wring this out. <laughs> this was good. Look at it. Like, seriously, that, that was how much rainwater came in the window. I mean, told our landlord about it, they really, I guess they didn't do anything. More miser? Meow? I guess they just kind of assume any damage that it's going to do will, uh, you know, be less than the cost of replacing the windows. They're kind of big windows, non-standard sizes, you know. Alright, all that video was from a couple of days ago. I uh, figured here's... Uh, you, I figured I'd show you the room as it is now. The ground is a lot, uh, a lot cleaner because I vacuumed. And, uh, you know, I think it looks a lot nicer. I've still got a bit more to go, which I don't know exactly when I'm going to do that. Probably some more tomorrow and whatnot, but uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching.